Hi, I'm Darren Darnley with VMAC. VMAC is the leader in compressed air innovation, designing and manufacturing the most innovative mobile air compressors and multi-power systems available. This video will provide an overview of the VMAC multifunction power system. Let's review this training by reviewing the VMAC multifunction control system. The control system allows for a truly customizable user experience. Adjustable system parameters include system pressure, unload delay, standby delay, top-up pressure, air use rate, restart pressure, auto restart, and battery settings. We'll now go into Diagnostics menu to discuss these system parameters and adjustable settings. Enter the Diagnostics menu by pushing the two arrow keys at the same time for five seconds. Wait for it to scroll through the user setup then press enter. Scroll through the menu screen by pressing back and next arrow buttons. Press the enter button to adjust the default parameter. System pressure allows setting of maximum working pressure between 80 and 175 PSI. Unload delay. This is the time delay to change states from running to unloading the compressor. You can choose between 30 seconds to 30 minutes or never. Standby delay. This begins after the unload delay has expired and shuts off the compressor and engine. You can set this between 1 to 30 minutes or never. The engine and compressor will restart with air use. Top up PSI. This allows tank pressure to be close to minimum system pressure. If the system pressure is set to 150 and the top up PSI is set to 10 PSI, the system will top the air tank up to 150 when the air pressure drops down to 140 PSI. High air rate. This monitors air usage to determine if a tool is being used. This high air rate setting will also determine if there is an air leak or if a tool is being used from 0 to 30 PSI. This can be adjusted based on the size of the air receiver tank and the air tool used. A small tank with a large tool will have a large air rate, and a large tank will make the air rate lower. This parameter allows a quick restart response when the system is in standby rather than reaching the restart pressure to restart the system. Our air compressor is designed to run at 100% duty cycle, so you don't need a large air receiver tank. We recommend a minimum 10 gallon air receiver tank capable of 200 PSI so that the operator has a supply of air while the system is restarting. Restart pressure. If for any reason the system drops below your specified PSI while in standby, it will restart. You can set the value between 80 to 175 PSI. Cold engine restart. This is great for extreme cold weather environments. If the multifunction is in standby, the system monitors its internal temperature, and if it drops below a preset value of 23 degrees Fahrenheit or minus 5 degrees Celsius, it will restart the engine. Disable auto engine restart. We recognize that it's easy to forget to turn the multifunction off when it's in standby mode, so we have an LED beacon. In the unlikely event that you forget to turn off the multifunction, this feature automatically shuts the system off for safety reasons. This disables the engine from starting in standby after an adjustable time setting, which can be always, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes, or never. Allow low battery restart. When in standby, the system will monitor battery voltage. If the battery voltage drops below the preset value, the engine will start to recharge the battery. It will also monitor and recharge your truck's battery if it's connected. You can enable or disable this feature. Battery restart lower threshold. The low battery threshold for restart can be set between 10 and 14 volts. Battery restart upper threshold. After the engine starts to recharge the battery, the engine will continue to charge the battery until this upper threshold is achieved, which can be set between 10 and 15 volts. Battery restart delay. 
The engine will continue to run for this preset time after the upper threshold is achieved to ensure the battery is fully charged. This can be set at 1, 2, 5, 10, or 30 minutes. Factory reset. This will reset all adjustable parameters back to the factory setting. This completes our short operational video. If you have further questions, please contact your local VMAC dealer or the VMAC tech support line at 1-877-912-6605 or www.vmacair.com.